Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the Jaywick surgery means very much to me and the people of Jaywick. And it came to my attention a few, few weeks ago that something had to be done. So I went to the meeting, I wrote all the things down. I did what the Jaywick Sounds Happy Club do, does, is to work out what's going on before I made a move. And then at the meeting, which was last week, at Goldring Hall, I went up to Ace and I said to them, as the leader, the creator of the J. Sounds Happy Club, could you invite me here and tell me behind the scenes what is going on? So the people of J. I can tell them. And they agreed to that. And today I have been meeting them here at their headquarters here in Clapton. And Donna, the J. Sounds Happy Club secretary, came with me. Thank you, Donna. So me and Donna did this together. We came here and did the whole meeting together, didn't we? So basically, how long did the meeting last? You quite a while, and uh, we can see that we've had a long, busy time here. But I want to say thank you to all of the people at Ace for a talking to us, for b listening to us, and c inviting us here to have this chat. And if you all do the same three things as what they did, which is listen and hear and understand, if you do them three things, then the Jowick Surgery you will see is doing really well. And look at these statistics. This is one day, the 3rd of May. This is one day, the call data of what happened. Take a look. Calls received, 695. Answered calls within five minutes or less, 317. Answered calls within 10 minutes or less, 462. Answered calls within 20 minutes or less, 542. So most of, most of the calls are being answered within five minutes. And they're wanting to improve that. And they are improving it. So, ladies and gentlemen, the phone service is getting much better. Look at these statistics. They speak for themselves. So there you go. The statistics speak for itself. Now I'm going to run over what we discussed in the meeting. Everything I run over in the meeting. There are the statistics. Take a look at all the things I, I wrote down during the meeting. All of that. So, the first thing we, I asked Ace was the phone service. That's the biggest concern of people in Jaywick. Is that right, Donna? And what they said was, Ace have moved staff now. Ace now have more staff since, since, since three weeks ago. People need to understand. People need training up. So all the people that work here, they need training up when they get a job here. They don't just come here and become good at their job. They need, they need training, up, training up. And a lot of people, after a week, because a lot of people are getting abuse when they answer the phones because they have to wait so long. So when people phone up the doctor's surgery and they have to wait for five or ten minutes or an hour or whatever it is you're waiting, when these people phone up, they get very irritated and take it out on the receptionists. And they don't want to take it anymore, so they leave. So that's the reason that they're having problems is because they keep getting insulted. So that is kind of a catch-22, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so... A lot of the new staff that work there, they leave as soon as they are... Uh... They're getting abused, you see. So, like, they have to leave. So, yeah, you can see that. Um, if people have no money, if you're phoning up Ace and you have no money, you need to get in touch with Ace on their website and explain your circumstances, and they should be able to give you a refund for the amount of money you spent. Reimbursed. They're willing to reimburse you if you spent more than a couple of quid phoning them, you know? She's pretty nice, isn't it? Pretty good. So you've got to give them the benefit of the doubt. They're willing to give you refunds if you phone for a long time. Also, people were waiting. One second. People, when waiting, Top people step in and help Ace. For people who work when waiting, top people stop in. One second, I've got to read you. What? It's Woodstock. 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 It's Vanderbilt. Get the phone lines so long. 
People, when waiting, right, basically, when people are on the phones, like all the receptionists, and they can't handle it, it's taking too long, some of the people that are higher up step into the office and answer the calls their very self. That is how keen they are to get these phone calls answered. When, like, the system's blocking up and, like, 100 people are trying to call at once, the top people step in and they answer the phones themselves. And I was very impressed by that. They are really trying, ladies and gentlemen, to improve the service for Jaywick. You need to remember that Ace have been running Jaywick surgery since 2002. That's like 16 years that they've been running it. The least we can do is give them the benefit of the doubt, let them improve everything, which they are, and everything's going to be all right. Everything's going to go back to normal because we are working with them side by side to make things better. We've got someone in the inside called me, Danny Sluggett, and I'm going in there asking them the things that are making people unhappy. True. It's very true. And I took Donna with me, the secretary of the Happy Club. True. And how well did the meeting go, Donna? Very good. Very good, weren't it? Yeah. So, on June the 7th, Ace will be at the Jaywick Sands Happy Club. They're coming to my meeting. You can't give abuse to them because they're doing this to like answer your questions without being abused. The least we can do is respect them that they're coming and they're willing to answer your questions. So if you would like to speak to Ace yourself, come to the Jaywick Sands Happy Club meeting on the 7th of June. That's the next meeting. If you come to that meeting, you can talk to them yourself. And how about that for an opportunity? It's very good. So you can meet Ace directly yourself by coming to the meeting on the 7th of June. Doctors want time, time operator. Uh, that, 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 what's that? Uh, Ace have flexible hours, GPs, works. Doctors want time options? Yes, basically, doctors want time op options. Ace have flexible hours. GPs, one works from home. And in terms of employment, you give right to be flexible. Ace have a duty that people and the patients come first. That's what they assured me. They assured me and Donna that the patients come first, didn't they? And we're not lying to you, ladies and gentlemen. This is not a wind-up. I have been down here to answer all your questions, and I've got all the answers, and we've got to try and give them the benefit of the doubt until proven otherwise. Haven't we, Donna? Yeah. We've got to. It's very true. We've got to try, ladies and gentlemen. So, their priority is that patients come first. Remember that? Yeah. Patients come first. We heard that from the horse's mouth, from two, from two of their mouths. Denise and Jane, they were very kind. They were top dogs. They were not like, you know, they were not like uh, cowboys. They were, they were Indians. No, they were chiefs. Yeah? And they were very kind to give me this interview. And they let Donna come as well. So thank you to Jane and thank you to Denise for letting me come and ask you all these questions. I, I've, only, I've only got halfway through, guys. Look, I've still got all that to go. So... Um, I asked them about the complaints phone line and someone said at the meeting last night that it's not operational. They said to me that the complaints lane has not been shut. And if you come to Green Elms and speak to Joe, if you have a complaint. So if anyone has a complaint about Green Elm surgery, just go and speak to Joe if you have a complaint. And if Joe is not there... Ask staff to contact Denise at Ace. And if not, then leave your, leave your message with the surgery and they will get back in touch with you. They have promised me this. Give you an what? Kind of box. What box? The suggestion box. Oh, yeah, that's coming next. I ain't got that yet. We're talking about a suggestion box that hasn't come yet, but Donna's way ahead of me, ain't ya? She's amazing. She's, she really asked some great questions during the meeting. And she helped me out because I was dealing with two top dogs. But I had a top dog with me. And her name's Donna. And we did all right, didn't we, Donna? It's nice that me and Donna... Me and Donna normally work from London and from Jaywick. Because Donna lives in East London. So we're normally working on computers. Not in the presence like we was today. Team D. Team D was awesome today. Right, the next thing... Uh, the, 
If you leave your complaint with the surgery, someone from Ace will get back to you, guaranteed. Ace will now, in the next few days, next few weeks, they are going to put a suggestion box into Green Elm Surgery, which means that you can write a note and put it into the suggestion box. Anything you want to talk about, you can talk about it and put it into the suggestion box. Because we asked them to. We said, why don't you put a complaints box in? And they said, what a great idea. We shall do that very soon. And they are putting a suggestion box into the Green Elm Surgery. With thanks to me and Donna. How about that, ladies and gentlemen? So, it's all good news, ladies and gentlemen. Things are really getting better. You need to be patient. Everything's coming together. Um, why won't Ace talk to their staff? Ace talks to their staff. This is what Ace said to me today. Ace talked to staff. They have meetings regular. Freedom to speak represents Ace. Have two reps that go to surgeries once a month. Newsletters once a month called Inside Ace. And Quality Matters. And they're starting a new one very soon. Just for... Just for the... Just for the patients. Oh, just for the start. What's that say? Just for the practice. Right. And they're starting a very they're starting a new 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 letter. And it's just basically for the patients. And that's coming very soon. Um, doctors make all decisions about medicine. So if you've got a prescription and it's run out, it will carry on getting given to you. But if you don't go there and tell them things, whatever. It's nothing to do with staff members, it's to do with the doctor. The doctor is the only person that can stop your prescription. It's nothing to do with the staff that work there, it's only the doctors themselves. So we've got to stop picking on the staff. They're only doing their job, like I am, like Donna is. So you've got to stop picking on Ace, they're doing a bloody good job. And you've got to respect them that they gave us the interview today. Okay, the next thing that we're coming up against is the, this. How long will it take to get Jaywick Green Elm Surgery back on side. And they said to me that another GP is coming to Green Elms and he's starting, he's starting, he's starting with two days a week. Someone that supports all the GPs is starting very soon. So there's a guy that's like the boss of all the GPs and he's starting very soon as well. So that's two new GPs they've got coming to Green Elms very, very soon. And Ace takes, took, Ace took over Green Elm Surgery in 2002. They have been running the Green Elm Surgery for 16 years. And they have run it very, very well for a very long time. And we need to remember that, ladies and gentlemen. We need to remember how well they've run it. Okay? So this little glitch we're having now can be worked out. And they said to me that it can be worked out. Okay? And I'm very happy with the interview that I had today that they, are, they have answered all my questions. And if you look at the statistics on this bit of paper... If you, that is one day of the statistics of the phone calls. Look at that. That was yesterday. This is the actual statistics of the calls yesterday. And you can see there weren't one call that took more than 20 minutes. And they're working on improving that. So we've got to give them the benefit of the doubt. Everything is getting sorted. If it ain't getting sorted, I told you how you can make this happen. Watch this video. Everything I got told, I've explained to you. I just want to say thank you to Ace. Thank you to Jaywick. Can we all please keep calm and carry on? And can we all please respect the staff and all the people at the Green Elm Surgery and at Ace because they're trying their hardest to do what they've always done, which is to give us the best service they possibly can. I'd like to say thank you to all the people of Jaywick, to Green Elm Surgery. I'd like to say thank you to Ace. And I'd like to say thank you to Donna. And I'd like to say thank you to all of you. You're welcome to share this video, because it's very important what I've just said. It's all the important information about the Jaywick Doctor Surgery. You just heard it here first on Danny Sloggett Vision. We are the television of the people. We don't work for the BBC. We don't work for ITV. We don't work for Sky. We work for the people. We are the people's vision. Danny Sloggett Vision is for the people. And I want you to know that we are all equal. Can you shine on everybody?
shine on everybody and shine on to the Jaywick Green Elm surgery because we are doing very well. Shine on.